and today's video will show you how to make this peacock blanket. So first, let's make the motif. This blanket is only made by only one motif, so it is pretty easy. Uh, first, the motif round one. First round, we just make a, a magic ring. Okay, this is a magic ring. And then we do three chains. And these three chains we count as a um, double crochet. So we put a mark at this stitch to remind us this is the joint stitch. And then we make 11 double crochets in the magic ring, which means include the first three chains, we total have 12 double crochets. After we make a total 12 double crochets, we just tighten the ring and then we make a slip stitch to this, the stitch with the marker, this one. So this is the first round. Then the second round, we use the same color yarn. We do not need to change it, uh, change the yarn. So we just do second round, that is first we do three chains. This count as a double crochet. So as usual, we put a marker at the, the third stitch um, of the chain. And then one chain, this chain is a space chain, then we make a double crochet next stitch. Then one chain. Then a double crochet next stitch. One chain. Just to repeat this. That is one double crochet, one chain. Can we win the um, yarns? when we crochet. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, one chain. Then one double crochet, one chain. One double crochet, one chain. This is the last stitch and one chain. Then we need to do a slip stitch to join, make join, finish this round. So we take off the marker. Okay, and we do to fix it. And we cut the yarn because the third round we need to change colors. So this is the second round. Then the third round. Third round is start from any um, double crochet stitch. So you can start, you can choose start from any. Just do this. So we do three chains. This count as a first double crochet. Then we do a double crochet in the same stitch. Okay. And the next stitch, we just do a double crochet, but not on this stitch. We do a double crochet on the first round stitch, this stitch. So two double crochets on the second round stitch, 
and won the bokoroshi on the first round stitch. So when we do this stitch, we need to pull a little bit longer for this stitch to make these three stitches at the same level, like this. And then do two double crochet in the second round stitch. One, two. And then one, just a little pull a little bit, pull, do this. Two double crochets and one double crochet on the first. Just do like this. So repeat and finish this round. Now I have just the last group of this round, two double crochets and one double crochet from the first round. A little, pull a little bit. Okay, then we do the invisible joint. Uh, the invisible joint, I have a separate video to show how to do it. And also, almost in every my other blanket videos, I always use these skills. Uh, we just pull, this is the, th um, the three chains double crochet, right? And from this second double, the real double crochet stitch, we just pull through. And then pull back to this last stitch, pick up two loops, two loops. Then pull back to the third stitch of the three chain double crochet. So then here we'll form a fake chains over the three chain double crochets. So it looks invisible. Then we've in the yarn. This is the third round. And then the fourth and the, um, the fifth round use the same color. So let's start. The fourth round, we start from any um, stitches. So just, we do a back post um, chains. So back post. We pull like this way. And uh, I like to weave in the yarn like this. One, two, three. This three uh, chains count as a, a double crochet. So put a marker at the third stitch of the chain. And then we do the second. So this round, we do a back post double crochet for each stitch. And I weave in the yarns like this. Do a back post double crochet for this round. Back post.
Now I finished the last stitch. Then I will make a slip stitch at this the mark with the marker. Tighten. So this is the fourth round four. Then we will make the last round. The last round is uh, still use this color yarn. First, we do three double. Uh, I'm sorry, three chains. This count as the first double crochet. Then we make another double crochet in this stitch, which means in this the slide stitch um, that we had make a two double crochets. Then we make one double crochet on each stitch for four double crochets. Okay, then next we do two double crochets in next stitch and one double crochet in each of next two stitches. Then next we will repeat this two double crochets in one stitch, one double crochets in one stitch twice, repeat these four stitches for uh, another four times. So, two double crochet in one stitch, two, this is one time, once, twice, Two double crochets, one double crochet, three times, and four times. After this uh, two single, uh, uh, double two double crochets, then Next stitch, we make two triples, the triple stitch. Okay, then next stitch, we will make two triple stitches. Mm. Next, we will do one double crochet in each stitch for two stitches. And the next stitch, two double crochets in next stitch. Then two double, one double crochet in each stitch for next two stitches and repeat this pattern two double crochets in one stitch and one double crochets in each stitch of next two stitches repeat this so this end with one double crochet in one stitch twice. Then we make the invisible joint. And the motif is finished. The, this is the stitch of the second double crochet, the real double crochet. Pull, pick up two loops. Pull back to the third stitch, the chain stitch of the three chains. Okay, then weave in the yarns. Okay, this is the motif. Then we can find that this looks like a feather of the peacock. Here is the tip. 
This is the bottom. Uh, now we start to um, make the here. Now we start to um, con combine. When we combine, first we need to connect the motifs to two strips. And there are two kinds of strips. First is the strip one, strip A and strip B. So first I will show you how to connect the um, strip A. For each motif we can find from the um, tip, there is, this is the middle space, right? Here has the two the four double uh, four triple crochets so this is the space of the top middle right and from the bottom we here we have four double crochets um, connected so this space is the is the middle space right so we start from this space, which is the central of this two, this four double crochets from this space and connect this and make a slip stitch in each of the space. Slip stitch slip stitch each of space so we can weave in the yarns like this make slip stitch Okay, we make the slip stitch until to the central space of the tip. This, uh, then we go to the tip, the central of the tip. Then we make seven chains. Seven chains. After seven chains, we um, bring the second motif. Then we need to find the bottom center of the bottom. So it, this is the top. So we insert the hook and make a slip stitch. Then it's same. A slip stitch in each space until the center of the tips. Send off tip. Then we do seven chains like this. Then we take the next motif. It's the same. We find these four double crochets, the middle stitch, just to connect. So you can just connect the motifs as long as you want.
you can just uh, um, con connect uh, the quantities as you want. And uh, then um, I just uh, suppose this is the last motif I want. Uh, so then we do, this is the, I think this is the last motif. Then after do this, we do full chain. After full chain, then we slip to the next space of this one. Then we go back. Also, we slip to the middle stitch of this. So this is the last one here. Then we pull and uh, make this loop larger. And then you see this is the first um, slip stitch we connect to this motif. We just throw the hook here and pull this loop back here. And the next, we just make uh, seven. Here we have seven chains, right? We just make seven single crochets. After we make seven. Uh, uh, single crochets. Then this is the, uh, the center stitch. We just slip to next stitch. We slip here. Then go same as this. Do a slip stitch in each space. Then we insert the hook to this stitch and pull the loops here. Then make seven single crochets. Then we make a slip stitch to next next space, not the same space, next space. So we suppose this is the very first one. We just go to to the uh, this 
space. When we finish, when we finish the, the last stitch here, uh, this space is the central space. We, this loop, we just pull this loop to the back of the motif, right? And then we pick up the back from the stitch which is left of the space. This stitch, we just pull it here. And then we start to three chains. This count as a first double crochet. And then we make a double crochet in the same stitch. Then in next nine stitches, we do one double crochet of each. One, two. Three, four, five, six, nine. This this round we just uh, knit on the we crochet on the the fifth round of the motif. So here I finished the nine double crochets. Then in next five stitches, each stitch we need to do two double crochets. This is one, two, Do this five. And then in next five stitches, we do one double crochet of each. It's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, then we here we can see we have four stitches and we do a two double crochet together twice. Two double crochet together. Two double crochet together. And then we go to here, we have seven stitches, right? So we do seven triple stitches, triple, triple um, crochet. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. After seven crochets, we need to do at uh, this part again, the motif part again, and uh, the bottom part we have, we start from the left um, stitch of the central space, right? But from this, the middle uh, motifs, and the, we can see here, actually the first stitch is covered by this one, by this stitch. You can see this is the middle space. This is the first one. This one is covered by this. So from this motif, all the other motifs, we start from the second left of the middle space. This is middle space, first, second. So from this one, we are very easy to find this stitch because this stitch is covered by this part. So we start from this stitch and we do double two double crochet together twice. These four stitches. 
and then we do one double crochet for next five stitches one double crochet one two three four five Then next five stitches, we do two double crochets in each stitch. One, two, three, four, five. And then next five stitches, we do one double crochet on each stitch. And then next and um, four stitches uh, i'm sorry next four stitches we just do two double crochet together two of two double crochet together and then we start this part so uh, let's make a summary of this the bottom part, this part is different from others. So after this, we follow the pattern and then we do seven um, triple crochets on this bridge. And then we start from the second left, second left stitch, um, second left stitch of the central space. We do two double crochet together twice and then five um, stitch with one double crochet on each then five stitch we do two double crochets each five stitch on one double crochets each and then do two double crochet together twice then go to the bridge again here we do seven and do seven triple crochets one two Okay, after this, we start from the, this is the middle space, the second left, this is cover, actually is covered with the bridge. So this is the second left. We do two double, this two double crochet together once and twice. Then next five stitches, we do one double crochet. On each stitch. Then next five stitches, we do two double crochet each.
next five stitches we do one double crochet each Then next to four stitches, we do a two double crochet together twice. Okay, after this, this is the very um, top motif here do you remember we make a uh, four chains here and then we make three double crochets three chain three double crochets in this loop <coughs> three and three chains and uh, another three motifs for this top top loop then we need to go back to this side and this side is same as this side because it is mirrored so first we do two double crochets and here is the same we start from the second left second stitch of the middle space two double crochets together then five double crochets five stitch of one double crochet then next five stitches we do two double crochets on each stitch Then next five stitches. Then next four stitch do two double crochet together twice two double crochet together twice and then come to the bridge part we do seven So this is the one um, I finished so far. Then next, uh, next, uh, please remember always start from the 
second、um, stitch from the middle one. So this is the middle space. The left, second left, first left, second left. So start with this stitch. Start with this stitch. One, two. We do a two double crochet together, and twice. So next. Twice, then five stitches with one double crochets in each stitch. Is five. Next five is two double crochets in each stitch. Then next the five stitches. So we just repeat this and to finish until here.、Uh, now I do the five. So then we have four stitches left. This is the very bottom one, and um, for other motifs, the last four stitches we make the two double crochets together. But for the very bottom one, we just do one double crochet on each stitch. Okay, then we cut the. Cut the yarn and do a invisible join. So this is the. This is the、um, strip A. We just do like this, but this is the bottom. This is the tip. Do like this. Now we start to do the strip B. Strip B actually is、um, actually is same as strip A. But it not start with the motif. It is start from here, from this part. So, first, first we do seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chains. And then we start to connect the motifs. The same, we slip to the middle. Here we have four, um, double crochets. The middle, the central space. We just like this, and then we do slip stitch in each space.
go to the tip middle uh, the central space then one two three four five six seven and uh, another motif Okay, um, please remember the strip B usually has one, should have one motif less than strip A. If I the strip A, I use three, then strip B is two. If the strip A is 10 motifs, then the strip B is nine motifs. So this, I strip A, I make three. So strip B, only two. After I make this, and do seven seven chains so then i need to go back first one chain this doesn't count as any stitches then we do a single um, crochet in each of the chain stitch so that's seven stitches seven single crochets then we slip to the next space Uh, same as the uh, strip A, we add this, we pulled loop here, then we do seven chains. I'm sorry, seven single crochets. Next.
Okay, so the first round is finished. Then round、um, the second round. First, we need to make a slip stitch、um, to this first chain stitch. And then we do four chains. This count as a triple、um, crochet. Then do six triples, one triple on each stitch. On for this part. So,、uh, add、um, plus the first、uh, four chains. There are total seven、um, triples. Then, same as the、uh, strip A, we do from the second. This is the middle space. First left, second left. This one, we do two. Double crochet together. Two. And now after this, and、uh, the bridge part, and we will do same as the strip, uh, a. We will, we will do this part. So first we, from this is the central space. This is the、um, first left stitch. This is the second left stitch. We from the second left stitch, we do two double crochet together. Then another two double crochet together. Then next five stitches, one double crochet on each stitch. And then next five, we do two double crochet in each stitch. And the next five, we do one double crochet. Then we next four stitch, we do two double crochet together for twice. Twice. And then do the triple, the triple crochet, seven triple crochet for the bridge part. Okay, then we do、uh, start from this left first left second left stitch. Do two double crochet together. Twice. Okay, then five stitches. And this here we do two double crochet together, twice. And then we do here the bridge part. We need to do 
a total seven triple crochets, but I only do six first. And the last one is、um, replaced by four chains, and then make a slip stitch here. And the next, make a slip stitch to the this the first stitch, and also four chain. And do six triple stitches. After this, it's same as the um、uh, strip A. So we do. This is the middle one, first one, second one. So this is the second one. From the second one, we do two double crochet together. And then. So it's the same. I will be back when I finish the、um, this strip.、Uh, now I finish the last stitch. At the last stitch, just do a double crochet here, and then、uh, I can leave the、uh, some yarns for sewing this together. So、uh, I will show you this one. Okay. First, um, we sew it together. When this is the strip A, right, and then a strip B, then another A, another B, just like this. So, where is to start the first, um. Where is first stitch? Uh, let's please see. Here we have several um single crochets. One single uh one double crochet on each stitch, right? And here we have five group of two double crochets in one stitch. So please find the first group, and this is the first. Group first stitch, the second stitch. So this first stitch start with start with this second stitch of the first group of two double crochet in one stitch. This one. So. Let me show you how to sew the、um, sew this together. And、um, when we sew, I used the, the、um, right side invisible sewing. The right side means I only pick up the front loop of each stitch. So I pick up this first stitch of the front loop. And also, this is the first stitch, the front loop. So, and because this is the first stitch, I want to make it more steady. So I will do it twice. Okay. Then next, we just do one stitch by one stitch. 
So second one, let's see, the second stitch, come across this front loop only. And then the yarn is in this piece. Then we next stitch front loop only. And the yarn is on this piece, front loop only. So we use this invisible sewing. to sew the strip A and B together. So always front loop only. Just do this to the last to here. Uh, this is when I sew the strip A and B together. And so when for the whole blanket, that is 1A, 1B, 1A, 1B. 